If they're half as ferocious as their lady, the Boltons are doomed. One of the most emblematic characters of the last seasons of Game of Thrones is undoubtedly Lady Mormont. A character that was so well played by Bella Ramsey that changed the plans for its development on the series. In this video, we will be talking about one of the most important heroines in Game of Thrones, one who gave her life fighting for the men in the North, and who showed more bravery than most people in Westeros. Today we're going to talk about Lyanna Mormont. Welcome to the Three-Eyed Raven. Lady Mormont's story begins at the Mormont Castle, which is located on Bear Island in the north, 292 years after the conquest. Her uncle was Gior Mormont, commander on the wall, who lost his life as a night's watch. His mother, Maid Mormont, lost her life during the Battle of the Five Kings, after leading the Bear Island army in favor of Robb Stark. Lyanna was the cousin of Yura Mormont who had been banished from the north for selling slaves, something that was forbidden in the Seven Kingdoms. What did Ned Stark want you for? Buying from a slaver? Selling to one. Some poachers I caught on my land. Under my reign, you won't be punished for such nonsense. You can rest assured of that. Unlike other regions in the north, Bear Island was a matriarchal place where the women were the ones who reigned, and Lyanna was the next in the line of succession. Lady Lyanna gets her name in honor of Lyanna Stark, Jon Snow's mother, who in turn was the cause of Robert's rebellion. But unlike Lyanna Stark, who wished to stay away from the war and all the political protocol, the young she-bear not only became the mandatory they needed in the north, but also fought alongside her soldiers. Lady Lyanna becomes the youngest female commander in the region. House Mormont went through a lot of trouble during the Game of Thrones conflict. When Lyanna was born, their house was already weakened, but they still represented an important force for the North. The first time we meet Lyanna is when Stannis shows Jon Snow a message from the young Mormont lady. Stannis had sent messages to all the noble houses seeking support, but Lady Mormont's response was the one they least expected. Stannis obviously thought that a girl as a leader would be easy to persuade, but her response was negative, stating that they would not recognize any king whose name was not Stark. Do you know this wretched girl? Lyanna Mormont, Lady of Bear Island. The Lord Commander's niece. And a child of ten. Bear Island knows no king but the king in the north, whose name is Stark. Apologize, Your Grace. Northerners can be a bit like the Free Folk. Loyal to their own. From this moment we begin to understand that the new leader of Bear Island would not be so easy to convince. Jon Snow and Sansa ask Lady Mormont's help to face the Boltons, but she was not easy to convince. Lady Mormont questioned Jon's legitimacy and Sansa's alliances. As far as I understand you're a Snow, and Lady Sansa is a Bolton. Who's she Lannister? I've heard conflicting reports. However, Davos convinced her to join the cause. We have to fight. And we need to do it together. House Mormont has kept faith with House Stark for a thousand years. We will not break faith today. Loyalty and bravery are the defining traits of Lyanna Mormont. Ironically, she inherited her name thanks to Jon Snow's mother, and then fought alongside him during the Battle of the Bastards. It was here that the character stole the hearts of all Game of Thrones fans. The young she-bear, despite the fact that her death meant the end of House Mormont, did not hesitate to fight alongside her warriors, and when it was needed most from the Seven Kingdoms, she was on the front lines. Lyanna Mormont marched alongside the Dothraki and the rest of the warriors through the long night, while the women and children hid from the battle. She decided to face the White Walkers, even though it meant the end of House Mormont. Lyanna faced off against a giant that was transformed into a walker inside Winterfell, and managed to destroy it proving to be incredibly brave and heroic.
With her actions, Liana saved thousands of people in the north, was on the right side of the battle, and proved that you can't underestimate a person because of their age. If you won't defend your own city, why should they? Lead! What would you have me do? Get down there and lead your people against the invaders who want to kill them. Stay with my uncle and represent the king on the field of battle. When Stannis surrounded King's Landing, frightened Joffrey ran away from the battle and left his uncle in charge. However, Lyanna sacrificed herself and fought alongside her warriors, and lost her life honorably alongside her cousin Yora. I pledge to fight for the North. I will not hide underground, and I will fight. With Lyanna's death, came the end of House Mormont. Officially became an extinct house, but there is still hope for this family, as it is known that there are many children considered not legitimate in the North. Some of those who also fought and survived in battle, although there is no mention of what happened to this family afterward, it is possible that Sansa wishes to preserve this family, and ends up making official some of the illegitimate children of this house. There are two ways in which a bastard can become someone who carries the family name. One is his father recognizing him or the king making it official. In this case, Bran would have to give the Mormont surname to one of the illegitimate children, and in this way, the House of the Bear could rise again. Perhaps in Jon Snow's series, we could see the return of this family. However, if this was the end of House Mormont, it was a good ending with a representative worthy of her name, Lyanna Mormont, the last young she-bear. But tell me what do you think about all this? What do you think about this character and her story? Do you think the Mormont house will return in the future? And if you like this content, I invite you to become a member of this channel. Each contributor will see their name at the end of all videos. And for more videos with theories, news, and stories from the Game of Thrones universe, don't forget to subscribe to this channel. You are on. The Three-Eyed Raven.